No freaking way. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. An offer from Bayern Munich for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. What do we do? What do we freaking do? You're just ruining it. I mean, I said it to you guys. If an offer came from either Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, or Barcelona for one of our players, we're gonna have to accept it. I'm glad it's not for Richarlison, but it's come for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We might need to sign a new striker. Oh my god, I didn't expect this. I, I really didn't expect this. No, not in the first window itself, but I'm sticking to my word. We want to make this career mode the most challenging it's ever been, and we might have to do this. Just do it! To be honest, guys, maybe it's realistic, because I'm seeing out here rumors about Calvert-Lewin looking to leave Everton, which wouldn't surprise me. Well, apparently Calvert-Lewin is linked to join Arsenal. You know what? Let's at least negotiate with Bayern to get the best possible fee, but my god, is this an unbelievable twist. It's been, what, two episodes and we're getting stuff like this crazy. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's propose transfer fee of 50 million. Just, just playing around with Bayern and see what they say. Oh, Oh my god, are we actually doing this? Are we actually doing this? 50 million, they're only willing to pay 37. That seems like such a bargain. Oh my god. By the way, if we do end up selling a player like this, we get to replace him with another signing. So it won't be that we've got just one signing left in this window. It'll be two. Forgot to mention that in the last episode, but it's only fair we do that. But 42 million is going to be the transfer fee I counter with. And they're willing to work with that. Calvert Lewin on his way to Bayern. It completely depends if he agrees agrees a deal with them. Well, that's one way to start the Everton career mode. Welcome to episode number two. The drama is incredible. Drop a like if you're enjoying this series and tell you what, 10,000 likes get you an episode tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let's go. All right, guys, we need to assess our squad. It's 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 a meeting now that we need to decide what happens next. Calvert-Lewin is quite possibly on his way out. I'm just glad it's not Richarlison. And we need to sign a right winger too. Oh boy, because we're selling Calvert-Lewin, we get one signing to replace. Him. I have a few ideas of what I want to do to replace Dominic Calvert-Lewin. We'll get to that soon. So today's episode is going to be absolutely insane. Now we do have a press conference first to kick things off. Again, get involved, drop in your comments. You should sign Bergwijn instead of Dybala. Remember we were talking about signing Paolo Dybala potentially, but I feel like that's just way too unrealistic you could say, and maybe it's one for the future. Bergwijn though, I think is a solid option. I look at Steven Bergwijn wine and yeah nothing wrong with him he's kind of under the shadows of uh, harry kane and son could work out really well for us next press conference question and this is why selling calvert lewin hasn't put me in complete disarray that much because signing lukaku back oh my god honestly i don't think lukaku has reached that level that he was at everton anywhere else maybe inter you could argue but still i feel romelu lukaku was a force of nature at Everton. What if we try to bring him back? And you know, you might be saying unrealistic and all, but trust me, doesn't play all that much for Chelsea. Doesn't get into the starting 11 a lot of the time. It makes sense. It really does. And now we're going to get that cash injunction from Calvert-Lewin. I want to do this, but he's going to be super expensive. But I think I want to do this, boys. I really do. What a story it would be, you know, Romelu Lukaku back at Everton trying to lead this club, you know, back to their glory days. I like that a lot. And finally, sign Hudson Odoi because people have forgotten about him. Okay, and you need a right winger. Well, let's see. Well, we'll certainly keep an eye on Hudson Odoi. No promises, but these two are really good options. We'll, we'll have a scouting report back very soon and then we'll decide. Before we get any further, time to honor Jordan Pickford. The only reason we got a point in the last episode is because of him. He's insane. We now have a Carabao Cup game to smash through where I am going to rotate the squad a fair bit. So let's put in players like, say, we'll keep Calvert-Lewin in because why not? A Demira Gray. I want Anthony Gordon starting as well. Maybe Tom Davies. Wouldn't mind that at all. Jerry Mina can play this one. So can maybe Mason Holgate. There you go. We'll also start. Mikolenko's a bit tired. We'll play Kenny then instead. Perfect. That's going to be the team we rock against. Wigan Athletic in the Carabao Cup. Let me just get out of here easy with the dub. There you go. 
we go. On we go to the next round. Yo, by the way, there's still a chance Dominic Calvert-Lewin might decide to stay. It completely depends on him. Uh, let's see what happens. So far, we don't know if he's going to leave or not. After that, only we'll start making decisions about signings. So far, nothing. He might end up staying, so it might just be, you know, smoke in the air. Regardless, a loan offer coming in for Anthony Gordon. We're going to give him out on a two-year loan deal, and let's see what happens with that. But still, we're waiting to see what happens, and it has happened. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has been sold. He might be moving to Arsenal in real life. In this save, he's heading to Bayern München, as they say. 42 million. I said the rule, man, to make it more challenging and realistic. We've done that. Now we need to sign a striker and possibly a right winger as well. Oh boy. This episode's gonna be crazy. Guys, I don't want to be heading into a Premier League game with Cenk Tosun as my striker, so let's first sign Romelu Lukaku. I think I'm convinced it's gotta be Lukaku. 86 rated. If we sign him now, I think he's gonna be in this series for the entirety. So, as player in his prime, we don't make these kind of signings in career mode, man. So, this career mode's already becoming so much different than the usual ones. Signing Romelu Lukaku back to Everton sounds epic. Now, because he's 28, I want to try and get a deal on him, man. I'm going to be putting in 60 million as my offer. We, we can't be spending too much on him. 108 million? You're joking. I can't. I can't. I literally can't. I literally can't. Nah, that is outrageous for, for, for Romelu Lukaku. In real life, he'd be selling for 30 million max, I'd say. We'll counter with 70 million to try and get a deal on this. I want to keep some money for a right winger as well. Oh boy, that's, that is clearly not working. Let's counter with 80 million. We're going to be slow, but we're going to keep countering to try and get the best deal possible. 80 million. These guys, man, this, this, this is looking ridiculous now. Absolutely ridiculous. What about 85 million for Romelu Lukaku? We'll take some time to think about this, but there is no time. We're almost at the end of the trans window. Right now, guys, I don't think I'm in the headspace to play a game, so we're going to just take our chances and sim this game. What I'm going to do, Richarlison striker, Demar Gray in the left against Brighton. If we can pick up our first win right, it would be epic and we do. Let's go. We get a win in the Premier League. Let's go. All right, good news. Anthony Gordon's loan move is happening, so we'll accept that. Perfect. And also, Lukaku, they're willing to accept 90.8 million for him. Do we still try and negotiate and get this down just a little bit? That's what I'm thinking, boys. That's what I'm thinking. Let's counter this with 85 million again and just just hope for the best. 85 million for Romelu Lukaku. And this time they're willing to accept. Come on. Romelu Lukaku for 85 million. Now time to negotiate for the contract. Let's see. Crucial first team player obviously bringing him back to Everton to Merseyside. Three-year deal. Let's make that four. Works in our favor a fair bit. No release clause as well. Perfect. We'll have to give him a bumper contract. Oh, that's not too bad. That is honestly not too bad. Submit offer. 1.1 million signing bonus. 130,000 per week works for me. There you go. Romelu Lukaku has just been signed. Absolutely brilliant. Honestly, guys, I did not expect this to happen in this series. This series is going to be crazy. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, Dominic Calvert, dude, we can't use him now. But trust me, Lukaku is going to be something different. And I think we're all going to enjoy this. Going to quickly chuck him on a development plan as well, because I still feel like he's got room to grow as a player. Brilliant. What a signing we've pulled off. All right, let's put him in the starting 11 instead of Mr. Cenk Tosun. All right, let's do that. Come on. And now we're on transfer for deadline day. We're still looking for a winger. Oh boy. You know what guys? To challenge myself even more, we're gonna keep the winger signing or whatever else signing that we want to make for January. Let, let's, it's already been so crazy with Calvert-Lewin leaving and Lukaku coming in. Let's stick to the two transfer rule and we'll keep the third signing possibly for January, leaving some money. Until then, we've got players like Iwobi, Demara Gray who can play there. Maybe Anthony Gordon's gonna be leaving. Now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have let him go out on loan. But maybe Andros Townsend can be of some use. Yeah, I think we'll keep that signing because let the focus be on Lukaku. We've made such a massive signing. Let's keep it as is. So I guess we're done with transfers in this first window. Absolutely ridiculous what's happened. Yep, I'm heading out of the transfer window, boys. It's done. It's done. Has Anthony Gordon made the move? Loan rejected. What? Well, that's actually good news for us now. We can build on Anthony Gordon and give him some more game time. Let's go. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm excited for this season now. It's time to get into some action, boys. Boy, so much drama has happened already in this save. Now we need to get some wins in the Premier League. Um, uh, We're up against Burnley. This is a sure shot chance of getting three points. We need to take it. And I am going to play this game because it's a chance to see Romelu Lukaku on his debut, which I'm super excited about. Also, Michael Keane isn't available, so I might play Mason Holgate. Since we decided not to sign a right winger, I want to see Anthony Gordon more get involved into the team. So Romelu Lukaku in his debut. We'll also play Deli Ali in that 
midfield. That's what we're gonna rock. Seamus Coleman starts on. Ah, oh, nah, I should be playing Libramento more often, shouldn't I? Regardless, I should. That's what we're gonna do for our team. Let's go out there. Lukaku's back at Goodison. All right, about the transfer rule of an offer coming from Bayern Madrid Barca. Let's do it like we have to accept only one offer that comes in. Otherwise, imagine offers start coming in for all our players from them. It'll be kind of unrealistic to sell all of them. So every season, if we get an offer, we have to sell like one player. That, that way it's kind of fun and realistic. By the way, with Lukaku, I'm going to have to play very differently because he is more of a player who's, you know, like a tall, heavy player. You can't really turn with him all that much. So we're going to have to try and get the best out of him, which is going to be a challenge, you know. Well, it probably might not because we're not playing well right now. It's Burnley moving the ball around really well. Uh, it's Skov looking inside for Weggers. That's off the bar and it's going to come down and it's off the bar again. What am I seeing here? Uh oh, uh oh. Weggers is decent. By the way, Burnley later on today, as I'm recording this, are going to be fighting for their spot in the Premier League. My bet is on Leeds to go down. I think they'll survive. Douglas Louise looking for Weggers. This is bad. This is very bad. Vidra again. Somehow survived that. No Michael Keane in our back line today, which is unfortunate as Deli Alley looks for a long ball for Richarlison if he can get there first. Yeah. What did he do there? Alan, that's good. Now Richarlison, chance. I couldn't get there. That was the chance. We opened them up brilliantly. Half time, nil nil. I need to get Romelu Lukaku involved more, man. Like, we've, we've literally got a killer in the box, like, with his finishing. If we don't get him involved, there's literally no point that we signed him. Deli Ali is doing a great job in that midfield. Now looks for Van der Beek, who's broken through a fair bit. Looks for Romelu Lukaku if he can turn his body. Does so, goes for goal. Romelu Lukaku on his return to Goodison Park. Does that, and there the flips. That's why we signed him. He's back at Everton, and he's back in form. Romelu Lukaku. Kaku putting us 1-0 up. He's got unfinished business here at Everton. We're going to try and use him to take this club back to where it belongs. What a finish. That's what I'm telling you. In terms of a finisher, doesn't get better than Romelu Lukaku. I didn't believe in this series we'll ever have Lukaku leading our line, but that's how things have turned out, and we need to make use of it. Come on, 1-0 up. Guys, Van der Beek is having a brilliant game yet again. Here's Anthony Gordon. Good pass for Romelu Lukaku. Looks for Richarlison, who's kept himself on side. Chips this one for Lukaku. And it's a bicycle kick. Yo, Romelu Lukaku. I mean, that was just showing off. He could have just tapped that home with a header or something. But he's like, nah, going to have to do a scissor kick or something to put that in. Let's go. Richarlison being generous enough. I think, I think it was the smart decision to go for a cross because I feel like the keeper had closed him down a fair bit. So went for the ball back in. And Lukaku just showing off right there. A brace on his return to Goodison Park. Doesn't get quite better than this. Honestly, Lukaku's the kind of signing that could fire us into a top half or maybe even a top eight finish. He's just that good. Uh-oh. Weggers looking inside. And that was the chance for Burnley to get back into this game. Pickford's like, nope. Oh, no. What have I just done? Literally gifted the ball back to them. But Pickford's made a good save and made up for his mistake. Oh, here we go. Anthony Gordon. Guess who's in the box? It's Romelu Lukaku. <laughs> Romelu Lukaku has arrived at Everton. What a return. And some more good news, boys. We can now convert Richarlison to a left winger. Is he going to get an upgrade in his overall? No, he doesn't. But we'll put him on an inverted winger plan. I think left winger Richarlison is the best way to get him up in his overall. We're now up to eighth in the Premier League. The Romelu Lukaku effect. But guess what? Next up, Aston Villa, who is somehow unbeaten in the Prem. There we go, guys. Up against Stevie G's Aston Villa. They've got Coutinho and you know he'd love to score against us. Uh, from his Liverpool pass. Lucas Digne up against his former club as well. This should be interesting. We're going to have straight away put Michael Keane back in the lineup for sure. Although he's got a minus three on him. What else can I do? I'm loving using Deli Alley, man. So I'm going to put him in that starting 11. I also want to try out, as a lot of people are telling me, Andros Townsend. Could he be insane for us? You just never know. Let's see what he's all about. That's going to be the team we rock. Let's go. How has Stevie G managed to get Villa in into the top four right now? I know it's only four games but bit mad oh this is bad Felipe Coutinho setting this one up Jordan Pickford oh my god I thought that we were one nil down over there wow Deli Ali is just so satisfying to use in this game man he is he's unreal and here's Andros Townsend now we're giving him a go he beats one looks for a ball back in and well yeah that was bad Looking for Romelu Lukaku. Oh, he still fights and gets it. Goes for goal. Martinez saves. Rebound. Ah, oh, Martinez saves again. Lukaku just gets into those positions and creates those chances just by that physical presence. 
What a player. Still keeps hold of it. Still Richarlison loses but gets it back. Deli Alley now. Chipping this one out wide. We get it back. Chance. Andros Townsend. What an attempt on his weaker right foot. Emiliano Martinez. What a save. We can get this on the head of Romelu Lukaku. We're talking but that didn't work. Keane looking back for Alan from distance. Tries a finesse shot. Big save again from Emi Martinez. Holly Watkins now looking for Buendia. Chance. Luca Digne. That was scary but Seamus Coleman. Been a while since I used him. Good job. Lukaku looking for the ball for Richarlison. Controls that one really well. And here he goes on the attack here. Richarlison putting this one back in for Andros Townsend. Digne won the header. We still have it though. Donny van der Beek looking to turn inside and out. Looking for passing options. There aren't many. Looks for Deli Ali here. Ali taking it wide. Could look to put this one back in for Romelu Lukaku. Why did he move away? Oh, this is bad. Ollie Watkins looks inside for Danny Ings. What a save. Yo, Pickford has kept us in this game. We, we, we have no right to be level with Aston Villa. Jordan Pickford's insane. Ings looks for McGinn. Ollie Watkins now. They've broken through. Michael Keane doing a good job again. Felipe Coutinho. That's a brilliant pass for Danny Ings. And even Jordan Pickford can't stop that. Aston Villa under Stevie G look fantastic. It's 1-0. All right, let's try and whip in this one in. Van der Beek, it's a good delivery. Richarlison wins the header, but he puts it wide so close. Richarlison's delivery can be on point. It wasn't, or maybe it was. Van der Beek's on it. Alan here, looking to turn his man. Can't. Andros Townsend, left foot. That's what he's known about, but Digne stops him. A lot of power on it. It falls for Deli Alley, who puts it wide again. The chances we're bottling. Andros Townsend has really put in a decent shift in this one. Can he find... That's the worst pass I've ever seen. Scratch that. Townsend, that was that was the worst pass I have legit ever seen. He could have sent Lukaku through. Danny Ings. Oh, it's such a good ball. It's such a good ball, and I had lost hope. I thought we were 2-0 down. Boy, we're lucky that missed. All right, here we go with Townsend. Literally our final chance of the game. If Townsend can put this ball in, it could be decent. It is. Richarlison, no. Golden chance on the volley. Couldn't convert. No. And the game ends in a 1-0 defeat to Villa. Yo, our luck's kind of terrible, man. So early on, drawing Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. Not gonna lie, I still don't really care about the Carabao Cup. We've got bigger fish to fry in the Premier League this season. So, gonna use this to rotate. Panzer changes. I don't think we're getting through against Arsenal. If we do, it'll be a miracle. Yeah. Oh, what? We actually went through. Lukaku came on and scored the winner for us. We'll take that. I have put the two newly promoted sides in the Premier League, Fulham and Bournemouth. And up next, we're up against Fulham. This should be a win for us, guys. Let's put Michael Keane back in the starting 11. I had to remove him because of the red card. Sim this game against Fulham. They're 19th. This should be a dub. Only a draw. After all those results, guys, we are 9th in the Premier League. Not too bad, but we need to start maybe pushing. I'm aiming for top 8 in this first season. Guess what, guys? Next episode, it's Manchester United we're up against. Cristiano Ronaldo versus Everton. That's going to be epic. The drama in this series, absolutely immense. Imagine, we actually signed Lukaku. Calvert Lewin left the club. What's up next in this series? Who knows? I guess I'll catch you guys for the next episode, man. This Everton career mode is shaping out to being absolutely insane. Catch y'all for the next one. Peace.